you know, be <laughs> pose a danger, a moral danger to you? How how could it be possible? Let's see. Let's see what what, what what's what's happening in DC around these times, man. Thieves are targeting a high-end DC restaurant not once but twice over the holidays, forcing major security changes. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez is live along K Street Northwest with what happened also as well as an interview that she has that you're only going to see here on Fox 5. And you have more on changes that are coming. So. Angie Sharin, that's right. So police tell us that thieves targeted the valet here, Ruth Christen, downtown D.C. twice, once on Christmas Day and again on on New Year's Day, they got away with some key fobs to some very expensive cars. In fact, earlier today, we went over to Northeast D.C., the Dean Wood neighborhood, and found the remnants of a car that was set on fire. Police say it was a Mercedes Benz, and the same Benz that was stolen from... These kids are just destructive, man. They probably used that to spin on their ops one time and fucking burn it. Set that motherfucker on fire. I can tell you a lot of times how cars get set on fire, too. Because I, I, I've been there, man. Um... You bring a car around the neighborhood, right? They used to call them UUVs. Like so, say me and um me and Raz, we got a UUV, right? We come around the neighborhood, right? And we feeling good because we got a UUV. We about to ride out. We get we get we come get our boys that we close with from other dudes. We real cool with. Now it's four of us in the car. We riding out of the Some other dudes in the hood, you know, they might not get good to go with us. They might be, you know what I'm saying? They, we don't really fuck with them like that as they say. We come back around, we in and out the hood, da, 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 come going, ripping and running, blah, 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 having a good time. And they see us, they're like, they jealous. So they mad, like, man, let us drive that joint, man. Let us drive that joint. Let us have that joint. Like, like, nah, 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 we, we, nah, we can't, we, 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 we let y'all have this shit, we have to be fucking up for a while, you know, blah, 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 whatever, blah, blah, blah. They might get mad, you might park it somewhere, and they might get mad and jealous and just set it on fire, because it ain't your car, it's a UUV, but, you know what I'm saying, like, it's, it just, it just, it's like stupid shit, it don't have to be that those guys set that car on fire. Bitter bitches, dog, it's yeah, permanent, you're right. it's it permanent could be energy. That. It could be that other sun men that were mad about you flossing with the car set it on fire. It's that's much better. Yeah, it's, it, it, it be, it, it, it's like when, when these kids they have these cars, they're not like tiptoeing around, they're driving these cars like it's their car. They're like it's just like they're around town they in. Everybody in the neighborhood knows they got oh so and so and them got a Benz or so and so and them got a goddamn charger. So and so and them got a kill. Then you know what I'm saying? And it's 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 just you know they just ride it and they ride it recklessly. And yeah, they do crash into lampposts and they do do um, other crimes in them and have to, and have to um, blow them up. Yeah, they do. I, that's true. The car that was set on fire. Police say it was a Mercedes Benz and the same Benz that was stolen from Ruth's Chris on December 25th, Christmas Day. A police report says the two suspects opened a locked key podium with some kind of tool as the parking attendant was handling another vehicle. The suspects fled in the Mercedes, hitting another car as they sped off. Then it happened again on New Year's Day this past Sunday. And this time, police say three suspects broke into the locked valley box and stole several key fobs and then about five minutes later they returned trying to actually take a vehicle a parking employee got punched trying to stop them but the suspect got away with a bmw only on fox 5 today we spoke with michael lawson a charles county resident and one of the victims who had his key stolen here he tells us he was supposed to be celebrating the new year and his wife's birthday on sunday audio is pretty had bad I known again it happened the first time and not only this was the second time it was happening that was him. That's a, that's the guy who got his shit stuck, took right there. Yeah, man, you know he worked his ass off to go to Ruth Chris that night too. That's man, that's the worst part. Up. Yeah, damn. That motherfucker was budgeting for he that fucking meal, man. For Christmas or the New Year, you know, fucking. Finally got away really, from the kids and shit. Exactly. You know, they just got to victimize like <laughs> everybody better than them. You know, they couldn't even fuck up robbing a rich motherfucker. Man, they had to get exactly. the one. I'm thinking this. You know, it's some. <laughs> Fat cat, you know. <laughs> Same, yeah, man. I did not picture him as ass. Yeah, I didn't picture some dude working on the side of the road, man. That's fucked yeah. up. Hey, listen, Ruth Chris, man. 
you could take your lady there, but he probably had a hot date, man, or even wanted to take his wife out for the anniversary or something. It was some special occasion, man. Because them steaks there, man, they you talking about them, they got three three hundred dollar steaks on the menu. Check them um, out, says they, they ain't worth it. Well, yeah, I went out to man. a place in California and uh we ordered a prime rib and they got my order wrong they had to sit in there for out for for 45 50 minutes waiting to get to a table then 30 40 minutes waiting to get there it yeah. was not worth it at all i thought that place- ain't the point man that ain't yeah. the point the point is like <laughs> it like he probably went to red lobster for prime and like this is his shit right now he's about he just <laughs> saved up to go to fucking ruth chris now and his shit got stole man <laughs> like that's the fucked up part I get it. It's not the best bang for your buck. No, but um, um, they had they have a lot of good steakhouses in D.C. Man, I mean, I, I now listen. Me personally, my thing is fuck with the child, man. Yes, yeah, sir. That's not a steakhouse. It's still meat and whatnot. I love fuck with the child, man. Salute to fuck with the child, man. Um, yeah. if you ever get a chance, Brazilian, um, what is it, barbecue or whatever they call yeah. it? They call it Brazilian yeah, yeah. steakhouse, but it's it, it's a it's a Charisseria. model where they just bring out meat and cut you off a, a, yeah. a piece. Is and that the right. that's the green card types. red card one? Is that the green like yep. you just something yep. like that? Yep. Yeah, like Texas yeah. Texas State Brazil yeah. is the same way. Exactly. Ugh. Exactly. Exactly. Um, salute to them. Um, forlorn uh, Vox says, "I wish our people had the same energy when black kids are murdered." On a near daily basis by hoodlums in these deep blue hood wolf sanctuaries. Hood wolf. Keep shining a light on the BSI. You're doing good work. Salute to you, forlorn man. Um, yeah, man. This is this is this is what it is, man. Um turned trying to actually take a vehicle. A parking employee sound? got punched trying to stop good. them, but the suspects got away with a big Oh yeah, lost. In the story, a parking employee got punched. So don't forget that part. A vehicle. A parking employee got punched trying to stop them, but the suspects got away with a BMW. Only on Fox 5 today, we spoke with Michael Lawson, a Charles County resident, and one of the victims who had his keys stolen here. He tells us he was supposed to be celebrating the new year and his wife's birthday on Sunday. Had I known that that happened the first time and known that this was the second time it's happened, I don't know. I got to... I don't know. I got mixed emotions about it. The food was delicious. The service was great, but the end all be all was just terrible. Not See, he liked the service, bro. Hey, they still, I, I, it's tough to make it a black on black crime, but I still was able to do it, even at Ruth Chris. <laughs> Lawson was very upset speaking with us earlier today, saying that he was quoted at around $1,200 to replace two key fobs stolen. One is to his Cadillac and the other is to his Toyota. Both were on the same key ring when his car keys were stolen here on Sunday. And he tells us that that the ballet company... Does that sound like a victimless crime? $1,200 to replace his key fobs? Does that sound like just some little shit... Mm-mm. That's 1500 Yeah, his meal, his girl's meal, the $1,200. They didn't the steal his car. <laughs> they got one of them, though. But, like, Castor, how many hours he had to work? Like, that's a no, lot they of stole time. All the key fobs. They stole all the key fobs so they can use them to clone them to steal other cars. True. And they stole one of the cars. Yes. Two key fobs stolen. One is to his Cadillac and the other is to his Toyota. Both were on the same key ring when his car keys were stolen here on Sunday. And he tells us that the valet company, Crystal Parking, they said they will pay for the replacements, but he was having some trouble getting a hold wow. of the company earlier today. I did get in touch with a spokesperson with Crystal Parking who says they are now working on this. Police tell us no arrests so far yet. Uh, more on the security and what's happening next, Crystal Parking. Parking says that they've moved the valet box from outside here to inside the restaurant, and they are now reassessing security like this the measure put in place here at all of their restaurant business locations across the city, and they will need to also hire security where that is needed as well. Guys, back to you. Yeah, you need to take that valet box Over the box past weekend, we saw an ugly spate of gun violence in our city. A seven-year-old girl was shot while riding a scooter on Saturday, and eight people were shot on Sunday. Fuck. Wow. And they're bitching Gun about a 13-year-old girl. A seven-year-old girl was shot 
while riding a scooter on Saturday, and eight people were shot on Sunday. The latest surge in gun violence is taking its toll on D.C.'s interim police chief, Robert Conte. It really ticks me off, uh, to be quite frank with you, you know, when we have these senseless acts of violence that occur in our city. So D.C. recently kicked off its summer crime prevention initiative. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser and Chief Conte touted the program's success from last summer, reducing violent crime in the targeted areas by 10 percent and overall crime by 25 percent. But hear me out. This is a start and these kinds of initiatives are good, but there are deeply rooted problems that can't be solved with just more cameras and an increased focus on certain neighborhoods. As as much as we wish it was, it's not as simple as getting guns off the streets either. Some of the poorest parts of the city are where crime is the highest. It's about getting resources into those communities to help families. And while the city can provide resources, it's also about personal responsibility. The fact that teenagers personal are- responsibility. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does hey, that word mean? Catching- I've never heard that. Hey, it's catching on. The fact that teenagers are carjacking people for simple joy rides shows a lack of a moral compass among some. The fact that thank they- you. They- yeah, it's they're not. This isn't a business enterprise. They're not putting these fucking cars on freight um ships over the fucking other countries to sell at a. Yeah, they're not trying to eat. I wish they were. Is he on terminal leave or something? Is he is he going to somewhere else or something? Is he he quitting? Is that is that why he's speaking so honest? You got to wait wait for him to finish the sentence. We don't we don't know how this is going to end. Teenagers are carjacking people for simple joy rides. Shows a lack of a moral compass among some of our youth. We as a community, as parents and other role models, need to guide them, to instill in them a sense of right from wrong, to stress the importance of education, and to teach them to value their lives and the lives of others. If we don't do these things Ah. and more, the surge in violence in the city is a cycle that we're doomed to see repeat itself. It's complicated, it's hard, but we've got to work hard to find the solutions to these problems. No, we need to put them down and we need to lock them up. That must be a last 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 day. Because nothing is going to change. All the programs, and see, this is the part that, that angers me, is that these people are making our lives unbearable. Think about you can't go to a restaurant. You're worried about your kid going to school. You're spending all this money for all these programs. And then think about the billions that are going into our medical facilities when they get shot up. That money is never recuperated. And then for them to say the community has to, no, normal people need to be able to defend themselves and the law has to be enforced where either they get themselves together or they're just put down or put away. That's all there is to it. It's going to be a while until DC DC is like Texas or Wyoming. It's never going to be that way, Mossy. See, the thing about it is nothing is going to change because the mindset of these people, and part of it is because of the media, the lies they put out, like these people are victims. I don't care. At the age of 13 and 14, you know right from wrong. There's no excuse for that. Look, I agree with you. Enjoy doing the wrong thing. AP, no, but- I, I was agreeing. I was agreeing with you. I was saying that it's gonna be a long time to get to they get to that to they get to that point. But I would say what the guy said on the on the program is actually it's a, it's, a, it's a huge change of pace compared to what we've always heard from places like DC. Yeah, but he's still full of shit. He came over. He copped all these pleas, and then was like, "It's really complicated." No, nah, just stop letting bums nutting you. And uh, maybe stick around. <laughs> uh, show, up, show up to parent teacher conferences. You know, no, hold on, writing, hold on. That's asking a lot. You know, stop spending all the all your cash on bullshit. Stop writing your name on the food and be like, "This is mine and not yours." Fucking crazy ass moms and like, these are, this stop is the stuff that helps. Go. Yeah, stop saying no. That's my sister rolling up to the fucking spot with your daughter. That's ten years your junior. Like, there's a lot of shit you can just <laughs> stop doing right now. It's not complicated. Exactly. And cut off their welfare. That's another thing. We are funding our own deaths because all of these juveniles, every program, food aid, cash aid, food stamps, and all this stuff, these women have no responsibility, and we're funding it. Yeah, if That's they had to work it. three jobs to, to do that, they couldn't go to the club, and they couldn't get knocked up, and couldn't keep having these sun teens, and they'd have to make their sun teens go have a job in order to help them pay for their housing instead of just letting them do whatever they want to. 
So, and yeah, this that's is why, why they're robbing people to help pay for mom. Who, who these phony pro-life Republicans, you guys are full of shit. Because if you really cared about life, you'd be advocating for these people to have abortions because they are unfit to produce. If Facts. anything, you need to be, uh, I would willing to pay money for these women to be uh, sterilized. AP, and here's a, all- here's a, AP, here's right. a thought, though. Like, we should encourage men to have some fucking rights to the kids. Like, dudes can't no, say no, no, no. shit, man. Like, like men are not worth it. No, no, we no, don't know that, but there was, but like, not all of, not all dudes fucking suck. So like, why don't we, like, let dudes give us a chance to step in and maybe. I agree with that, but I'd rather for them not to produce at all, because a lot of these women are irresponsible. What's so easier to get, male rights or uh, the, be allowed to kill kids? Like, I think it'd just be easier to be like, oh, hey, man. For male rights, and I also think yeah. men have, should have the right to, if they don't want to be fathers, to have make them have an abortion. If she can kill a kid whenever she wants to, then if he says, you know what, I don't want to be a father. I, I don't want to have anything to do with this kid. And I, I'm advocating for her to have an abortion. That should be legal as well, too. Yeah, well, let, let dudes sign off. The kids. Because cats are Christian, man. Like, a lot of cats ain't for that abortion shit. But... Yeah, it's I don't a, like abortion, yeah, but sterilization, that sounds fine to me. If you want to pay them 50 grand <laughs> to go get sterilized, I think, you know, you get a lot of people who don't need to be having kids right off the, sh- you know. That's a program <laughs> I could get behind. Yeah, yeah, get a bunch of, just get a bunch of stupidity checks. out of the gene pool. No, just and, cut, and that's just, just the females, males too. I, I think it, I'm willing to pay, I would rather pay $5,000 to have a tubal ligation or ten thousand dollars for you to have a whole hysterectomy, then to keep the money. Look at the billions that we're spending in prisons. The billions, hey. and even the cost of life. This is just out of control because it's not going to get better. Look at them. They're swarms if of you, them. If you get convicted of of manslaughter or worse in, in one of these hoods, and it's more than your first second offense, you get castrated so that you can't you you can't uh, can't get anybody again. Yeah, but see, that's what happens. Of realism to it. I, I think paying yeah. people to do it has some some sense of like, I mean, you could probably get people to do this if you give them fifty grand, that kind of thing. People who are not, if they're that, you know, if they have that little amount of forward thinking to just jump on that offer, then they don't need to really be having kids, probably. Yeah, the thing is, the checks. No, no, kind of, don't give them, don't give them money to, the, to fuel the dysfunction. Yeah, yeah. when you give. It's it, both way you're you're motivating people with money. And like, the only want... way you could do it, I would say, is if you haven't had kids already, because we ain't we ain't fit to have a situation where a guy has like six kids and then gets it. You know, fuck that. Uh, who knows, man? You could have ten. Like, yeah, I got, I, I got, I, I know some, be I know a cat with, with, I, I got, uh, I got buddies that like just met each other and they were brothers and they was like teenagers. It was just all over the set. Dude had like fourteen kids. Yeah, so, I mean, I knew stop a lot at of... seven. That in New Orleans is, you know, I mean, a lot of that just drives the, the problem in the Sun community. Well, we saw that that Sun man that uh, died at what 109 that had 14 wives. And yeah, when grandma's children. like 35 years old, you got a problem. At least he wiped them up. But like, this is yeah. how crazy it's gotten. Like, cats are yelling about like forcing abortions now. You know what I mean? Like, that's how nuts it's gotten because there's we keep paying people to fuck up. Every time you fuck up, you get paid. You got a program. You're getting paid. You can blame it on the dude. The dude can blame it on the chick. Like it's. Oh, there are people. I guess that makes that makes us. Oh, they're actually paying for people to do it. That's crazy. No, I mean, no. You get paid anyway. Like, if a chick gets knocked up, she can she can get some child support. Yeah. Or and if that don't work out, she's getting every program ever. Like. Oh yeah, they're exactly. paying them to fuck up. Yeah, getting, I, I, uh, I think ABT. I think they get paid. I think they get paid for adoptions too. Sisters don't need to adopt no kids. I mean, they, well, they put, I'm saying kids. putting they up putting up kids for adoption, they get paid for it. Oh, okay, yeah, right, I got you. Right, they can abandon their kids, but if a guy says, "You know what? I don't want to pay child support," he's a deadbeat. We never call these women deadbeats. Yeah, I agree with you. And like a chick will have four different baby daddies, and she'll still get prefer- preferential t- treatment after the fourth dude. Like, yo, clearly you're bad at picking who gets to bust nuts in you. Yeah, she's zero and four. I mean, I honestly got the impression in in my experiences that it's not even that they don't care or that they don't they're bad at picking. They just don't give a shit. They they literally don't care and they don't have any incentive. You know, they they care nothing about using birth control. They know about it. They're well aware of it, but they just don't do it because fuck that's that. free. 
And yeah, these services are free. So I ain't using no condom. That Republicans are trying to strip away our birthrights and when we can't have abortion and we can, that's all BS. You can go to any Planned Parenthood is in every city. You can get a norm plant or whatever IUD device implanted. You can get your tubes tied. Uh, if you're low income, you can get all these things for free. Even on college campuses, you can get an in uh, a IUD device inserted. It's no reason to have all of these illegitimate children. And we and the thing about it is we have to pay for them. That's the part. That's well, the other part is the, that when you know you're 23 in the Sun community and the rest of your family is saying, "Girl, you ain't got no children yet." That's a part of the problem too. <laughs> I can't I was, believe you ain't got no kids yet. Where your man at? But it's talk, the culture. It, 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 it's it's yeah, it's it, the culture. It, it's, it's but it's, it's American it's culture happens. though. It's not just it's sure. not just sun culture, man. Like I was talking to this chick in college, and she was saying, "Man, it's fucked up how like being a single mom is cool, but being a wife and a mother is like you're a subservient piece of shit." Well, yeah, that's yeah. that's feminisms. Yeah, so it's like yeah. yo, they're attacking okay. the. Yeah, it was attack on the family is fucking everything up. Yeah, but but it was it was perfected with welfare. The the yes. way to go at it, right. you know, it was affected back in the sixties. Yeah, with welfare. I, mean, I don't get think the man could, out the house and get a check. They don't give her all the money. They could not support all these children. I mean, there'd be starvation without it. I think that that's definitely true. Yeah, my, like I, I lived in government housing, and my mom, there would be times when she would make a point to not make enough money so to keep the rent. So oh, there yeah. you go. Like yeah. it was uh -huh. incentivizing fucking up, and it was like the government was just paying for uh, uh, drugs <laughs> for like drugs that it was spent on. So there you go. Like they, hey, thanks for paying for all the drugs. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move along, man. Let me move along. Well, thank you. 645. Let's get to an important topic right now. Our kids are in crisis. We've reported on far too many becoming victims of gun violence and committing it themselves. So we are dedicating this entire week to exploring the cycle of violence and how the D.C. community is working to end it. Yesterday, we spoke with the family of an 11 year old who was killed. And this morning, Jess Arnold is talking directly to kids. She joins us live in studio. Jess, it seems like every day we hear about another young person being involved in or affected by crimes. Every day. Seems like bullshit. <laughs> wow. And what other community? Like, think about this, man. All the other communities combined. You won't find a fucking child get murdered every day. Period. Like, not even... About a like the murder suicide type shit. It's nowhere let in the alone, country you can find it. Let alone by another fucking kid in the street, like in the street with a gun. Yeah, exactly, Tony. DC police have been telling us that more kids are being arrested for certain crimes. So we wanted to go to the source, kids themselves, find out what they're experiencing that leads them to pick up a gun. It comes down to the phrase we hear time and again: hurt people, hurt people. I hate white people, man. The background track to childhood for so many DC kids. I had to run for my life. At 12 years old, Rashad Bates has already lost friends to gun violence. 15 year old Gerald Watson, 11 year old Karan Brown. I'm tired of losing people. You lost I love. a gang of them. The most. You like, would be hard pressed like to it. find. Saint. Oh. Someone getting killed. Twelve-year-olds promise Ellis feels the too. rest of the country, yeah. not a sun person, as a kid. You know. Yeah, you find me that tiger. Twelve-year-old got three murdered you know, friends. You got, million, friends. You got thirty million kids in the U.S. at least. And if it's not a sun person, you'd be hard pressed to find one killed every week in the rest of the country by by violence. Maybe they die from something else, but by violence, no. At 12 years old, Rashad Bates has already lost friends to gun violence. 15-year-old Gerald Watson, 11-year-old Karan Brown. I'm tired of losing people I love the most. It's like, it's like your heart sink. Boom. 
12 year olds promise Ellis feels it too. It's a lot of stuff like that goes on and it makes me not even want to be outside. Some children have turned that pain on others. While DC police data shows overall violent crime has decreased a bit since 2019, gun crimes mm. are up. When it comes to kids, we have to look at arrests and we're seeing increases in certain offenses, mainly carjackings. From July to December 2021, police arrested 72 juveniles for carjackings. During that same period in 2019, it was only 16 according to. Well, how did that go from 16 to 72 in two years? What are, what, what are these kids seeing? When well, they, they, stop arre they stop arresting cats and they let them out. So that means all that 19 get away with it. Yeah. yeah. All right, yep, all right, fuck it. Exactly. That's lightweight. Let's go. Let's go get it. Now it's an Uber for him. It's a cab. Exactly. Word is out. Yep. Coupled with TikTok showing everybody how to steal them with USB chargers. But these are carjackings, though. These aren't stealing. They ain't stealing. These are carjacks. Yeah. To arrest records. Chief Robert Conti said when it comes to robberies in 2022, they've already arrested more juveniles than adults. I used to. Stats you will only find in Blackistan. <laughs> what? They arrested more juveniles than adults for robbery. This shit don't make no sense. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Khalil Quran, you know what I'm saying, man? I, I bet you that's a national trend. I bet you that most cities are experiencing the same thing. And every time they say like crime rates are down, it just makes me want to throw myself out the window. It's like you just like, stop. She's like, oh yeah, the crime rate are man. down a bit. No, it's <laughs> no. down like fifteen. It, units. It's the prosecution rate that's it, down. It's not. Yeah, the crime. man. Yeah, they, they just stop arresting they're, they're cats just, for shit. Yeah, they're, they're not prosecuting. Crimes are still being adults. committed. Reported. I used to pose guns. Used to. Be in the streets, not like that, but like, you know, like in the street. But I used to follow the wrong crowd, used to be and stuff, getting shot at. Then he met the anti violence activist he knows as Miss Hardy, who helped him imagine a different life. That's what her. That's what we need. More, 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 more some ladies with fat asses to get these kids. Stop trying to be like everybody else. Stop being a follower. Be a leader. If you follow somebody, it gets you in the wrong place, like jail. It could get you killed. Now, Rashad and these kids are mapping out better futures. We stopped by a community event where they were making vision boards. A real estate agent at most. And I'm thinking about being a barber when I go grow up. And Rashad reminds his friends they can grow up. Tell them I love them. Stop being a follower. Be a leader to the little kids. If you're doing like stuff that you're not supposed to be doing, the stuff that that the, the little kids see you doing, they gonna want to do it. He's asking people in charge to help. Change your community by getting kids, like, their own little place to stay. Like, like they happy place. Like, build them new playgrounds. Because what they're envisioning is simple. I want myself to be safe. To be safe and just be a kid. Yeah. Just put up. Yeah. DC police for more specifics on juveniles being involved in crime this year. We had to put in a public. Put up sandbag walls to protect the playgrounds. Yep. In Prince George's County, a couple was driving when they saw those officers speeding right down the highway on Wednesday. Police arrested three teenagers, charging them with 13 crimes that they say took place over a nine hour period. Those arrests were announced by that new crime. 13 crimes in nine hours. Carjacking task force between D.C. and Prince George's County Police aimed at cutting the surge in teen carjackings and a number of other crimes. You think this guy is fucking concerned and troubled and his heart aches for those 13 people that were victims in these, these nine hours? I'm making oh, hell, hell no. I'm you have several rumbles today. now. Megan, what are we uh, okay, what are police saying about this investigation? Once again, we're talking about young people committing these brazen crimes. And good evening, Lorenzo. Yeah, it's a bizarre story. And according to D.C. and Prince George's County Police, the teens are every uh, from 13, 15, and 17 years old. And their crime speed spree started in Southeast D.C. Now, over the course of the nine hours, they reportedly committed armed robbery uh, nine different times between the two jurisdictions. Nine hours. That means, listen, man, one, not for nothing, man. 
These son men, man, like the dedication to just <laughs> stick with it, man. And, and like, I mean, yeah. keep it really going. Really nine to five on it. Yeah, you can yeah, really do anything if you put times, your mind to it. They can make ten times yeah. what that is if they would apply themselves to a job. Nah, you and, gotta understand. and the problem is, though, they'll only get charged with, like, one assault and one armed robbery each. Yeah, this is all going to get knocked off. But but yep. these, these guys don't want to. This is the thing that people don't understand. Like, they don't want jobs. They don't have the decorum. Like, these kids, like, for instance, when I did the easiest job, when I had um, when I did um, canvassing, so what they call it, outdoor sales, you, they, they give you a pitch, and you go knock on people's doors, and you get them to sign up, and you just get the lead. You get them to sign up, and then they'll send us, the company will send a salesman later to go do all the hard work. All you have to do is get the lead. And we we got a lot of sun teams and sun men because, um, you know, those are people that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a job that, you know, you, it's hard to get good candidates for. You know what I'm saying? So um, these guys will show up at the door, reeking the weed, pants sagging, chewing on a Late. straw. Late. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't, this whole getting a job shit, it, 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 it's frustrating because it's, it, it makes it seem as if they, they making a choice either or, or it both are just as likely, or they're being forbidden from something. These kids don't want no fucking job, and they wouldn't know what the fuck to do with a job. And you wouldn't want to work around them because they are not safe. Imagine correcting them or trying to tell them that, hey, buddy, buddy you did this wrong. They're going to blow your head off. They're going to cuss you out. Um, you're, you won't be allowed to have anything in the locker room because they'll break into the lockers and steal your stuff. I mean, this whole thing about, oh, just offer them jobs. Well, if they can't find a job, then how can Jose, who comes over here, who doesn't speak a lick of English, can have jobs all over the place? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm, I, not I, saying, I'm not saying they need a job. I'm saying they could make more with dedication to actually get to a job than they could do this. They don't want to. And they I know they want don't to. want to, but they well, could make more money doing yeah, that. They could, yeah, they could be a, a fucking astronaut too. Like, uh, the, <laughs> yeah, the, except yeah. for the fact that offering them constructive criticism will cause them to kill you. So, like, like there was a, there was a, there was a where, I, where I'm at that a, a business came in and they off, they came in and they offered all these jobs in the hood, paying way more than everybody with with health health insurance. It was like it was it was a glider business, and they were like six or seven months behind because they didn't count on people not showing up to work. They just didn't even consider it, and they couldn't get no one to show. Like no one would show up. Yeah, I mean that's like, having been a manager and having been an employee, and then being a manager, I, I did not know how bad it was until I became a manager. A person they're too lazy. They, they can't even go to school. They can't even go to school. <laughs> I mean, yeah. come on. They don't want to. They, this is what they want to do. This also gets them social capital. These guys are somebody. These guys are. Have you heard the rap lyrics? These guys are doing what the rappers talk about. They really doing it. So imagine with their who they are in their community. If the rapper who's just rapping about it is somebody in the community, what do you think the guy who's actually doing it is? These guys are very popular in the community. They're very, very popular with the ladies, the other guys. Yeah, the other thing too is like it's the um it's a culture that celebrates death. Uh, like no other no, you always see someone's face on a t-shirt after someone dies, man. Like that that's clout, man. Yeah. Someone's walking around with your face on a t-shirt after you're dead. Yeah. And if you get locked up, everyone's saying hashtag free, whatever the fuck your name mm. is. Like this is yeah, all clout. And TI can fix his mouth and say, Why ain't they prosecuting country music singers and shit? Yeah. Like they're doing the same thing. Years old. And their crime spree free started in Southeast DC. Now, over the course of the nine hours, they reportedly committed armed robbery nine different times between the two jurisdictions, attempted to carjack two different people, and assaulted two more. 
The teens led police on a high speed chase that ended in, on Suitland Parkway yesterday. The video you're looking at was shot by Courtney and Don Porter. Now the couple tells me that they were heading to pick up their three year old son from daycare when they saw this chase. But like I was literally um, in a movie. I, I, big, I vividly, excuse me, remember the Camry passing by, and I was like, man, that car is moving, right? <laughs> and then, and then I saw all the cops. I was like, well, must be a motorcade. Maybe this is the lead car. So I was like, man, was right here at this same spot in 2001, we were <laughs> stole a car, and he got and he set on fire right there. And crazy story, man. Me and my boy. Um, Mike, he's gone. Keith is dead. But it was, it was, a, it was. A, everybody in that car is either jail or dead. But I know this area very, very well. Um, Suitland Parkway, right? It was a black Camry. Yeah, Don was saying that he was actually taking his wife to work. They carpooled yesterday because of the carjackings in the area. Now, a BB gun was found on the on the teens. Police say that they were reported uh, BB guns. So they were robbing people with BB guns, fake guns, and they we carpooled because toy guns of the carjackings society. in the area. Yeah, this is and if you'd ever gotten shot, if the cop would have shot one of these kids, it would have been. Tamir Rice all over again would have been fucking Karan. I mean, it would have been like the guy was the guy in Houston. It'd be fire him, uh, prosecute him, yeah. all that good shit. We wouldn't have saw that map with all them dots just now. I'll tell you that much. It would have just been like, hey, it's just driving around. I got shot with a BB gun. Yep area now a bb gun was found on the on the teens police say that they were reported uh lee found in a stolen vehicle that had been reported stolen earlier in the day now I and here's MPD the thing too now being in a stolen vehicle is nothing and amongst that group that that 13 to i'd say 30 um year old son group in dc all this shit is 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 a little bit much but just riding around or in a stolen car is not like you're like a bad boy or something. Look at behavior. me. Yeah, I'm just, I'm badass, mother. I'm driving the stolen car. No, nah, that's just, it's pretty normal. If these three have ever been arrested before, because during the joint conference yesterday, Chief Conti mentioned how a number of those teens who are arrested are repeat offenders. Now, according to MPD, they are not able to release that information because they are juveniles. So as soon as we gain more information, we will continue to update you on air and online. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a rough, rough, rough spot, rough spot, man. Um. DC is not, but let's we see need what to, uh, revise the rules. After the third time, your juvenile record is free for everyone to see whenever you get arrested again and it gets blasted out. Let me let me read some of these um mm. the, these 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 super chats on Rumble. Salute to everybody watching on Rumble too, man. Rumble showing up big today, man. Um my man Dark Man, that's um Alexander, he says. Humble donation from London. All right, bro. Thank you. What, what, whatever the fuck. Um, Johnny Rev says, yes, some people have an inferiority complex based on coveting what their neighbor has. They don't believe in the commandment, thou shalt not cover it, nor adultery. Forrest 01 says, hey, I, I sure hope you can get your Rumble channel built up. YouTube scumbags are clearly suppressing the hell out of your subscribers over there. You've been between 42,900 42, and 4,300 for ages. Yeah, man. I've been stuck. I've been stuck on that 42,000 42, subscribers for three years. So um, I've done probably. I've, I've put probably maybe 2,000 videos on this channel in those, those three years, maybe 3,000 videos on this channel, and I've gained no subscribers. <laughs> well, that, and just on YouTube alone, you're you're getting up around 500 a night now. Yeah, and it, no subscribers. Right and, and, and gaining no subs no one subscribes. Honestly, honestly, I, that's why, like, I can't trust nobody else if they getting subscribers because that, that means they lying the 
fucking saying bullshit. Well, no, well, that's not necessarily true because every channel is treated differently. Like I'm, they may just be treated normally. You know what I'm saying? Like my channel just being treated differently. So that's they, they may be getting subscribers at a normal rate. They may not be getting. They may not like. For instance, last year the other channel, Ock Nation TV, I was suspended four times. Yeah, but I'm. Yeah. I've been watching y'all for a minute, and no one keeps it. No one keeps it. No one keeps it a, a zillion like this. The your panel does. You know what I mean? Like y'all don't pull no punches. Wow. And a lot of these cats like kind of keep it real, but they don't all the way keep it real when it touches their pockets. That's what I'm saying. Much appreciated. They should a lot they of the channels. Be. A lot of the channels are focused more on political content. They touch a story now and then on crime. But they're more broadly focused. This one that just focuses mainly on crime, it really gets shadow banned. The other ones they get shadow banned a little bit, but yeah, it's they, like they, this. They can't like do I that said, because in the political realm, everybody talks to each other and says, "Hey, I'm being shadow banned," and, and they get that, and so they, they they back off a little bit so they don't they don't reveal that. But this one, this one's under the radar. Yeah, exactly. They 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 may talk about. You know things like yeah, more political stuff, and, and yeah, and and listen, I bet if I talked about politics, they would still shadow bag. Like I mean, because it's it, 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 I think it's just the way you talk about these topics too. You like, can't talk. You can't talk oh, about surely. politics and ignore crime. Everything feeds into each other, though. That's the whole yeah. thing. That's what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. they they ignoring certain things. Well, let let's see let's see what is going on because. Maybe there's a solution, man, in Washington, D.C. Maybe there's solutions. Maybe there's something that could be done this about this. new government program hopes to have great results. I lost somebody on May, May 26th to gun violence. And I don't want to keep losing people. Yeah, I mean, young people got all of his are more and more yet. likely to be the victims of violent crime in D.C., and they're also being arrested for violent crimes on their first offense. The D.C. Attorney General is the one who handles juvenile crime. Our chief legal correspondent, Katie Barlow, was first to sit down with him this morning. Katie, how can really one office make all the change here? Well, it's a big job, Marina, to your point. And as you both just said, it is an issue here. Just yesterday, a 12-year-old was arrested for armed robbery, robbery with a gun. And we're not even five full days into the new year. And already five kids under the age of 18 have been shot in the district, including an eight-year-old boy. A <laughs> <laughs> so the Quran is really the only, you would think, He's middle-aged. Only kid. You, yeah, exactly. Great point. He's middle-aged. But you would think he was the only kid. If you just were watching this from a distance, you would think he was the only kid that got shot this year in D.C. The problem here, and D.C.'s attorney general is responsible for handling juvenile crime. And the brand new man in the office, Brian Schwald, says he plans to tackle juvenile crime by trying to get at the root of the problem. That's what the Office of Attorney General is going to be committed to doing, both addressing crime after it's occurred and trying to get to the root causes that prevent cycles of crime from starting in the first place. What does that look like in practical terms? And that's, you know, a big task, stopping it before um, it becomes a crime and dealing with an issue long before it gets to your desk. What does that look like in practical terms? How do you do that? Well, we know that some of the root causes for crime, such as housing instability, economic inequities, discrimination, uh, are things that the Office of Attorney General in our Discrimination. No, <laughs> it's called son women unable to control the kids and unwilling to, in the most part. It's called DNA, man. There's no fact. fix. You can't fix. You can't fix the deal. The, the, once, once, if they, if they go by your, your theory, Johnny, right there, that that's the problem. It's DNA. It's, it's none just, of that. It's not. It's not only some women. It's some men as well. Exactly. It's DNA. The some women. Listen. DC is, is federal government job. DC is it's the nation's capital. There's a lot of sisters there with excellent job between PG County and DC. There's tens of thousands of sisters who make a hundred thousand dollars a year. They, it, it, you know, what I'm saying have homes, cars, great lives. Their kids are carjacking people. 
Here's the deal, though, man. This is all about women, not just some women. Like, ain't no way an old ass dude that came on there twenty years ago, but like, it's about a house. Like, nah, bro. Like, he's <laughs> he's trying to keep his job. He's trying to appease all women, man. And they're always in their feelings, so they never. He's always copping, please. He's not like, yo, they keep fucking up over here. 